Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a chronic autoimmune disease which is characterized by the demyelination of axons and formation of lesions or plaques within the central nervous system, CNS. Relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis, or RRMS, is the most common disease course seen in MS patients, making up 85% of diagnoses. Oxidative stress, an imbalance in which free radicals, oxidants, overwhelm antioxidants, is thought to be a key factor in the pathogenesis of MS. Agents which induce this stress are known as reactive oxygen species. Inflammation within the CNS of MS patients generates oxidative stress. Research has shown that this can be attributed to activated microglia and infiltrated macrophages generating large amounts of chemical mediators of inflammation. In turn, this oxidative damage may trigger further inflammation that can lead to neurodegeneration during MS relapses. The CNS is particularly sensitive to free radicals due to its high oxygen demand and relatively low levels of antioxidants. All cells have defense mechanisms against oxidative injury. The transcription factor, NRF2, is believed to be a regulator of these defense mechanisms. When cells are in a quiescent state, NRF2 is retained in the cytosol by Kelch ECH associating protein 1, KEEP1, and degraded. Stress-associated stimuli, such as oxidative stress, causes conformational changes in KEEP1, resulting in the release of NRF2 from its KEEP1 binding, translocation to the nucleus and subsequent expression of genes containing an antioxidant response element, ARE, in their promoter region. This ARE binding downregulates the inflammatory response. Vimeridine diroxamyl fumarate is indicated for the treatment of relapsing forms of MS to include clinically isolated syndrome, relapsing remitting disease, and active secondary progressive disease in adults. It belongs to a group of drugs known as immunomodulators. Although the mechanism of action of vimeridine is not fully understood, preclinical and clinical research suggests that MMF the active metabolite of vumeridine activates NRF2, which increases antioxidant activity and is involved in the cellular response to oxidative stress. Indication Vumeridine diroxamyl fumarate is indicated for the treatment of relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis, MS, to include clinically isolated syndrome, relapsing remitting disease, and active secondary progressive disease in adults. Important safety information. Contraindications. Vumeridine is contraindicated in patients with known hypersensitivity to diroxamyl fumarate, dimethyl fumarate, or to any of the excipients of vumeridine. Reactions may include anaphylaxis and angioedema. Taking dimethyl fumarate. Warnings and precautions. Anaphylaxis and angioedema. Vumeridine can cause anaphylaxis and angioedema after the first dose or at any time during treatment. Signs and symptoms in patients taking dimethyl fumarate, which has the same active metabolite as vumeridine, have included difficulty breathing, urticaria, and swelling of the throat and tongue. Patients should be instructed to discontinue vumeridine and seek immediate medical care should they experience signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis or angioedema. Progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy Progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, PML, has occurred in patients with MS treated with dimethyl fumarate, which has the same active metabolite as vumeridine. PML is an opportunistic viral infection of the brain caused by the JC virus, JCV, that typically only occurs in patients who are immunocompromised and that usually leads to death or severe disability. A fatal case of PML occurred in a patient who received dimethyl fumarate for four years while enrolled in a clinical trial. PML has occurred in patients taking dimethyl fumarate in the post-marketing setting in the presence of lymphopenia less than 0.9 times 10 to the 9 per liter. While the role of lymphopenia in these cases is uncertain, the PML cases have occurred predominantly in patients with lymphocyte counts less than 0.8 times 10 to the 9 per liter persisting for more than six months. At the first sign or symptom suggestive of PML, withhold vumeridine and perform an appropriate diagnostic evaluation. Typical symptoms associated with PML are diverse, progress over days to weeks, and include progressive weakness on one side of the body or clumsiness of limbs, disturbance of vision, and changes in thinking, memory, and orientation, leading to confusion and personality changes. 
Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, findings may be apparent before clinical signs or symptoms. Monitoring with MRI for signs consistent with PML may be useful, and any suspicious findings should lead to further investigation to allow for an early diagnosis of PML if present. Herpes zoster and other serious opportunistic infections. Serious cases of herpes zoster have occurred in patients treated with dimethyl fumarate, which has the same active metabolite as vumarity, including disseminated herpes zoster, herpes zoster ophthalmicus, herpes zoster meningoencephalitis, and herpes zoster meningomyelitis. These events may occur at any time during treatment. Monitor patients on vumarity for signs and symptoms of herpes zoster. If herpes zoster occurs, appropriate treatment for herpes zoster should be administered. Other serious opportunistic infections have occurred with dimethyl fumarate, including cases of serious viral, herpes simplex virus, West Nile virus, cytomegalovirus, fungal candida and aspergillus, and bacterial, nocardia, listeria monocytogenes, mycobacterium tuberculosis infections. These infections have been reported in patients with reduced absolute lymphocyte counts, ALC, as well as in patients with normal ALC. These infections have affected the brain, meninges, spinal cord, gastrointestinal tract, lung, skin, eye, and ear. Patients with symptoms and signs consistent with any of these infections should undergo prompt diagnostic evaluation and receive appropriate treatment. Consider withholding vomerity treatment in patients with herpes zoster or other serious infections until the infection has resolved. Lymphopenia. Vumerity may decrease lymphocyte counts. In the MS placebo controlled trials with dimethyl fumarate, which has the same active metabolite as vumerity, mean lymphocyte counts decreased by approximately 30% during the first year of treatment with dimethyl fumarate and then remained stable. Four weeks after stopping dimethyl fumarate, mean lymphocyte counts increased but did not return to baseline. The incidence of infections and serious infections was similar in patients treated with dimethyl fumarate or placebo. There was no increased incidence of serious infections observed in patients with lymphocyte counts less than 0.8 times 10 to the 9 per liter or less than or equal to 0.5 times 10 to the 9 per liter in controlled trials, although one patient in an extension study developed PML in the setting of prolonged lymphopenia. Lymphocyte counts predominantly less than 0.5 times 10 to the 9 per liter for 3.5 years. In controlled and uncontrolled clinical trials with dimethyl fumarate, 2% of patients experience lymphocyte counts less than 0.5 times 10 to the 9 per liter for at least 6 months, and in this group, the majority of lymphocyte counts remained less than 0.5 times 10 to the 9 per liter with continued therapy. Neither vumerity nor dimethyl fumarate have been studied in patients with pre-existing low lymphocyte counts. Obtain a complete blood count, CBC, including lymphocyte count before initiating treatment with vumerity six months after starting treatment and then every six to 12 months thereafter and as clinically indicated. Consider interruption of vumerity in patients with lymphocyte counts less than 0.5 times 10 to the 9 per liter persisting for more than six months. Given the potential for delayed recovery of lymphocyte counts, continue to obtain lymphocyte counts until their recovery if vumerity is discontinued or interrupted because of lymphopenia. Consider withholding treatment from patients with serious infections until resolution. Liver injury. Clinically significant cases of liver injury have been reported in patients treated with dimethyl fumarate, which has the same active metabolite as vumerity, in the post-marketing setting. The onset has ranged from a few days to several months after initiation of treatment with dimethyl fumarate. Signs and symptoms of liver injury, including elevation of serum aminotransferases to greater than five-fold the upper limit of normal and elevation of total bilirubin to greater than two-fold the upper limit of normal, have been observed. These abnormalities resolved upon treatment discontinuation. Some cases required hospitalization. None of the reported cases resulted in liver failure, liver transplant, or death. However, the combination of new serum aminotransferase elevations with increased level of bilirubin caused by drug-induced hepatocellular injury is an important predictor of serious liver injury that may lead to acute liver failure, liver transplant, or death in some patients. Elevations of hepatic transaminases, most no greater than three times the upper limit of normal, were observed during controlled trials with dimethyl fumarate. 
obtain serum aminotransferase, alkaline phosphatase, ALP, and total bilirubin levels prior to treatment with Vumerity and during treatment as clinically indicated. Discontinue Vumerity if clinically significant liver injury induced by Vumerity is suspected. Flushing. Vumerity may cause flushing, for example, warmth, redness, itching, and or burning sensation. In clinical trials of dimethyl fumarate, which has the same active metabolite as Vumerity, 40% of dimethyl fumarate treated patients experienced flushing. Flushing symptoms generally began soon after initiating dimethyl fumarate and usually improved or resolved over time. In the majority of patients who experienced flushing, it was mild or moderate in severity. 3% of patients discontinued dimethyl fumarate for flushing, and less than 1% had serious flushing symptoms that were not life-threatening but led to hospitalization. Adverse Reactions The most common adverse reactions, incidence of greater than or equal to 10% and greater than or equal to 2% more than placebo, for dimethyl fumarate, which has the same active metabolite as Vumerity, were flushing, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and nausea. Gastrointestinal adverse reactions. Dimethyl fumarate caused GI events, for example, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and dyspepsia. The incidence of GI events was higher early in the course of treatment, primarily in month one, and usually decreased over time in patients treated with dimethyl fumarate compared with placebo. 4% of patients treated with dimethyl fumarate and less than 1% of placebo patients discontinued due to gastrointestinal events. The incidence of serious GI events was 1% in patients treated with dimethyl fumarate. Hepatic transaminases. An increased incidence of elevations of hepatic transaminases in patients treated with dimethyl fumarate was seen primarily during the first six months of treatment, and most patients with elevations had levels less than three times the upper limit of normal, ULN, during controlled trials. There were no elevations in transaminases greater than or equal to three times the ULN, with concomitant elevations in total bilirubin greater than two times the ULN. Discontinuations due to elevated hepatic transaminases were less than 1% and were similar in patients treated with dimethyl fumarate or placebo. Eosinophilia adverse reactions. A transient increase in mean eosinophil counts was seen during the first two months of therapy. Use in specific populations. Renal impairment. No dosage adjustment is necessary in patients with mild renal impairment. Because of an increase in the exposure of a major metabolite, use of Vimerity is not recommended in patients with moderate or severe renal impairment. Please see full prescribing information via the link provided.